in a previous lesson, we were looking at parallel lines. We found out that parallel lines have equal gradients. Now, in this lesson, we want to figure out how we can handle perpendicular lines. Now, we know that perpendicular lines meet at right angles. The relationship between two perpendicular lines is that the product of their gradients is always equal to minus 1. So if this line L1 has a gradient M1, and this other line, which I want to call L2, is a gradient of M2, then the product of the gradient of L1 and that of L2, that is, M1 times M2 will always give us minus 1. Now, since M1 times M2 is equal to minus 1, it should also follow that M2 is equal to minus 1 over M1. That is, M2 is the negative reciprocal of M1. Now, I'd like to think that you already know what the term reciprocal means. Reciprocal is simply the inverted form of a number. Like if you have A over B, then the reciprocal is B over A. So if L1 and L2 are perpendicular, and L1 has a gradient of M, which is M over 1, then L2 should have a gradient of minus 1 over m that is the negative reciprocal of m so that the product of their gradients should give us minus 1 so it also follows that if l1 is a gradient of 2 then l2 should have a gradient of minus a half which is the negative reciprocal since 2 is 2 over 1 so that the product of, of the gradients is again minus 1 what if m has a gradient of minus 3? Then the negative reciprocal should just be a third. And if L1 has a gradient of a quarter, then the gradient of L2 should be minus 4, which is the negative reciprocal. And I think you get the idea. We have an example here. It says, find the gradient of a line that is number one, parallel, and number two, perpendicular to the line 4x minus 3y is equal to 6. So in order to work this one out, we need to first express the equation of the line in the form y is equal to mx plus c. We do this by making y the subject. If we make y the subject, it should give us 4 thirds of x minus 2. So now, from this form of the equation, we are able to know what the gradient of this line is. And the gradient m is 4 over 3. So to answer part 1, which requires us to find the gradient of the line that is parallel to this line, the answer should just come out as 4 over 3 because parallel lines have equal gradients. So if this line has a gradient of minus 4 over 3, so shield the line that is parallel to it. On part 2, they want the gradient of the line perpendicular to this line. Now, we know that the gradient of the perpendicular line should be its negative reciprocal, so it should in turn come out as minus 3 quarters.